Damini Sinha, a name everyone in India should know. She's India's very first transgender software engineer. Her story is one of bravery, strength and breaking down walls. Damini's journey inspires many people, especially those figuring out their gender identity. In a world that often doesn't understand, Damini stands strong. She's true to herself and shows others how to do the same. Her journey began long before anyone knew her name. It started with a personal fight, a fight against what society thought was normal and a journey to discover herself. Her story shows us accepting yourself isn't always easy, but Damini's life proves that being true to yourself is worth the fight. Her story gives us hope. It shows us that things can change. Damini started her career in 2007. She joined Cognizant, a big IT company, her job software engineer. This was in Bangalore, India's tech center. At Cognizant, Damini was great at her job. She was a hardworking and talented engineer. But inside, a part of her was still hidden. She was still figuring out her gender identity. Back then, India didn't have many laws to protect transgender people. This made Damini's journey even harder. She was afraid people would treat her badly. Even with these difficulties, Damini kept going. She focused on her work and hoped for a day she could be herself. In 2014, a big court decision changed everything. The Indian Supreme Court said that transgender people are a third gender. This helped create the Transgender Person Protection Rights Act. This law passed in 2019 was a huge change. It gave power to transgender people. It gave them the right to say who they are. This was what Damini was waiting for. She could finally be her true self. She told everyone she was a transgender woman. Some people were happy for her bravery. Others didn't understand. Damini didn't let what other people thought bother her. Her story touched many hearts. She became a symbol of hope and strength. Damini's fight wasn't over. She faced new problems. These problems came because the new law wasn't being used properly. One of her biggest fights, getting the Indian government to recognize her rights. She demanded what she deserved. This included things like healthcare, education, and job opportunities. Damini's struggle shows a bigger problem. It shows that just having a law isn't enough. People also need to accept and understand. Her journey reminds us the fight for equality is not finished. Her life and work continue to inspire us. They push India to be a place where everyone belongs.